Am I the only one who kept forgetting who this girl was? Hello, today I will be doing a video on The Craft Legacy. I loved the original Craft movie. I've seen it a million times on VHS, so I was excited for this because it seemed like either a sequel or exploring other witches in a new area. I was really disappointed to see it was a remake of the original. Well, at least for the first 25 minutes. It played out like the original, girl moves to new town, her mother remarries a man she doesn't like, new school, some bullying, meeting three girls who introduce her to magic. Everything was copied, but in an inferior way. And that was kind of the theme throughout the movie. They would steal lines from the original and implement them in a different way throughout. And it was just kind of cringy. Thankfully, at a certain point, it did find its own storyline, but it takes an awkward turn and becomes really woke. It follows the same storyline as the original, and the lead character gets revenge on a guy who is mean to her and does it by casting a spell to make him woke. It was so woke about sexuality and gender equality, I forgot it was a movie about witchcraft at one point. The soundtrack is also a lot better in the original. The music they used for this movie was grating. The acting was also better as well than in this movie. This is a minor spoiler because I won't give too much detail away, but there are three twists to look out for. Two of them I didn't see coming, but the very last one I saw coming after the first one. The second twist involving the stepfather was very underwhelming and rushed. It could have been good, but it was underdeveloped. They bring it in 15 minutes before the movie is going to end. And I'm like, okay, like where is this going? This is kind of interesting, but it was rushed and felt childish in a way, like something I would see in a Disney Channel movie like Halloween Town. And another major reason why it was so underwhelming is because there wasn't really that much build up to it. It just came out of nowhere. I did think one scene was kind of good and creepy, and it involves the girls reading something that a Ouija board is telling them. Overall, this was disappointing. None of the lead actresses make interesting, innovative witches. They're pretty boring and forgettable, and they don't have anything that sets them apart. Like in the original movie where all of them had their own separate struggles and insecurities, and they use witchcraft to solve those issues, those were genuine things that they were dealing with. Whereas in this, they're all basic. They don't use the magic for anything useful. The most they do is just use it against some dumb guy at school. They really don't utilize the magic the way they did in the original. Having said that, it still held my attention, but it was lackluster. And I give it a 4 out of 10.